Malachi 4 verse 1 For, behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, that it shall lead them neither root nor branch. Shalom. All blessings, honors, glories, and powers be unto Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rocha Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who have taught me this truth, as well of men of like mind. Shalom wa chasad, which means peace and mercy, to the elect of the nation of Israel, whom are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and the Israelite foreigners of the sea line of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom are scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great, and abroad. To you I say Shalom, and Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Ratazah, this lesson is edifying. Now this lesson will be more so for the newer comers, the newer believers in the faith. And in this lesson, we will go into the prophecy concerning the destruction of America, Babylon the Great, and ultimately the kingdom of Esau or Edom the so-called Caucasian race, as they call themselves today. For they are, according to the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 4, the border of wickedness. Therefore, they are the wicked. Malachi, chapter 4, verse 1. For, behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And what day is that referring to? That day is referring to the day when our Lord Yahushua will return to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by his fire for by fire and by his sword will the Lord Yahweh through his son Yahushua plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many as it is written. Because our Lord Yahushua is going to be coming back with a sword, which is an instrument of cruelty. And that is the day that it is referring to, to the day of our Lord Yahweh Shah when the Lord is going to simultaneously destroy this kingdom while delivering his elect. Okay. And what is gonna cause that day to burn as an oven? Those ICBM nuclear missiles, which according to the book of Jeremiah chapter fifty verse twenty five are the weapons of the Lord's indignation. Because you see, a typical fire requires air, oxygen, and fuel in order to light. But the scripture says that a fire not blown shall consume him. And what is that fire that is not blown? Those ICBM nuclear missiles which are lit after the chain reactions of fusion and fission. Therefore, they are fires that will not be blown that will consume this man's kingdom causing it to burn as an oven and all the proud who is the proud Esau Edom Obadiah tells us that Esau Edom is the most proud he believes himself to be as the most high Isaiah 13 chapter and the 14 chapter also tells us this and which we'll get Lord's willing later on in this lesson yea and all that do wickedly shall be stubble or they that do wickedly, Esau, Edom, the wicked, so-called Caucasian race, as well as two-thirds of the nation of Israel who are joined unto this man and his kingdom and his image. They also do wickedly, and they will also be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, save the Lord Yahweh of hosts, that it shall lead them neither root nor branch, because every single thing in this continent will be completely dissolved and eviscerated because this land is going to become a desert this is the book of Psalms chapter 21 verse 9 
Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven. Who is them referring to? All the proud and all they that do wickedly that shall be stubble. They are the ones that are going to be made by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through Son Yahweh Shai, as a fiery oven, because they're going to be turned into stubble. In the time of thine anger, the Lord Yahweh shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. The fire from those ICBM nuclear missiles, which, again, according to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, verse 25, are the weapons of the, of the Heavenly Father's indignation, which means righteous anger. Their fruit shall thou destroy from the earth. And that's going to ultimately happen in the kingdom after they have served a thousand years of hardcore slavery under the nation of Israel. Their fruit is going to be completely wiped out. They're going to be exterminated from off of the face of the earth by the nation of Israel. And their seed from among the children of men. For they intended evil against thee. Against who? Against the nation of Israel. They intended to exterminate us. Because they're jealous of us. They're jealous of us. They want the bird right back, but they can't get it. They're the wicked. They imagine a mischievous device which they're not able to form, which is their new world order. Therefore shall thou make them turn their back. Because the Lord said, in the fullness of their sufficiency, they shall be in straits, which is a position of difficulty. Right when they're about to establish a new world order agenda, the Lord is going to put them in straits. They will not be able to perform their enterprise, their mischievous device, which they imagine. Therefore shalt thou make them turn their back, and thou shalt make ready thine arrows, which are those ICBM nuclear missiles, upon thy strings, which are those nuclear silos, also likened unto bows, against the face of them, against the face of who? The proud, and they that do wickedly, which shall be stubble. Thou sh be thou exalted, Yahweh, in thine own strength, so will we sing and praise thy name. We will sing and praise the names of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai forever. And on the day when the Lord completely obliterates the kingdom of, of Esau Edom. Isaiah 13 verse 19. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the child, his excellency, Shall be as when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. We know or should know what had happened to ancient Sodom and Gomorrah and how the Lord had overthrown it through fire, through nuclear fire. So again, it says in Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, because America is seen as the glory of kingdoms. Every nation comes here for business, and trades with America for business. Okay. The beauty of the Chaldees and who are the modern day Chaldeans? The Edomites, they're elites. They're witches and warlocks and soothsayers and monthly prognosticators. Those are the modern day Chaldeans of Esau Edom. Excellency, which is America, Babylon the Great, shall be as when Yahweh by Shem Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation, neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. Why? Because this land will be completely destroyed by thermonuclear fire. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there. And satires shall dance there, and the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces. And her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged, because the Lord said that within one hour is this kingdom going to be brought to naught. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 17. For in one hour, so great riches is come to naught, and every shipmaster and all that 
company in ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning saying what city is like unto this great city because these heathen nations which are also going to go into slavery under us the nation of Israel Yahweh being at the head of that they're going to be crying and sorrowful for America's burning because this is the land this is the country that they typically conduct traffic which means trade with business with and they cast dust on their heads which represents confusion and cried weeping and wailing saying alas alas that great city wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness for in one hour is she made desolate and so america babylon the great will be made desolate according to biblical prophecy here in one hour and that is why the Lord said here in Isaiah 13 that her time is near to come and her day shall not be prolonged because the Esau Edom is going to be pulled out of rulership like lightning very swiftly. Isaiah 14 verse 11. Thy pomp is brought down to the grave and the noise of thy vials, your kingdom, your victorious songs, all those things are going to be brought down to the grave to a very low estate because you're going to be placed in slavery under the nation of Israel. In the noise of thy vials, the worm is spread under thee. And we see that the worm is spread under your kingdom because everything is corroded and corrupted. Your infrastructure is failing. That's why you'd recently passed through your president a, I believe, two, roughly $2 trillion infrastructure bill, but that will come to naught. The Lord said that even though you will build, he will throw down. Because your inward thought is that your houses shall continue forever, which is vanity at best. The worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Lucifer means light bearer. Word of current light bearers on the left hand side of the heavenly father Yahweh, through his son Yahweh Shai, on the earth today, the elites of Esau Edom. Son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground, which didst speak in the nations? If thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which are the nation of Israel. That's the stars. And also, through their space force and their satellites, they had ascended up into heaven. And that inflated their egos, causing them to think that they are like the Most High. When they're nothing but the bases of men. I will exalt my throne above the stars of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because this man is like a germ. Everywhere he goes, death follows. It's like a cancer. It spreads until the victim eventually dies. I will, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation, which is the nation of Israel, in the size of the north, here in North America. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. And they did so through their space force and their satellites, mainly. I will be like the Most High, and this is his hubris. This is his, his, his uh, excessive pride, his delusional way of thinking. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the size of the pit. You're going to be brought down to a very low estate and put into slavery. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms, that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof, that opened not the house of his prisoners, because we are the prisoners. But they hold themselves not guilty. All the kings of the nation, even all of them, lie in glory, everyone in his own house. But thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch, and as the raiment of those that are slain. Trust thou with a sword that go down to the stones of the pit, as a carcass shredding on, on the feet, meaning that they're going to be in a very extreme, abased, low estate. Okay, so, Lord willing, the point was made, and this lesson was edifying to those that are new, okay? And brothers in general, and few sisters in general. So with that, I say shalom to the elect.